boy. I'm feeling so good this morning, Michael. Why is that? Because I've had about three energy drinks. <laughs> what kind of energy drinks? Guayaki. Man, this stuff is literally the best. I love Herba Mate so much, and I'm so thankful that Guayaki is uh, sponsoring us drink-wise. I really am. Seriously, guys, try it out. You can find it at Whole Foods, certain gas stations. Find it online. Get it. Your life will be better. If you've never tried Herba Mate the traditional way, definitely an experience to try out, in my opinion. Um, Michael, I've had such a good week this week. Really? That's good. Yeah, I've had producer sessions. I've had a great workouts. I mean, I, I was I was <clears throat> drenched a few days ago. Running up and down the mountain. That's true, and I'm, I'm doing more bicycle stuff, like the uh, stationary bike. That stuff will kill you in the best way possible. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm loving life, Michael. Things are going, I'm, I'm really thankful. Things are going very well right now, and I, some negativity has tried to jump into my life this week, and I was like, no. No, you're not allowed in this week, sir. Bye. Michael, anything in the mail today? We have one question. It's a bit of a fun question from Ooh. a friend friend, friend of the pod, friend of the show. That's great. Uh, Matt Reeves. Matt uh, Reeves. He's, uh, he's one of my uh, middle school friends. Matt Reeves is your one of your middle school friends. That is awesome. Yeah. Hey, Matt, thanks for uh, listening to the show and being a supporter. Uh, he's got a question. Um, he wants us. He wants to know what game slash contest show would you like to be on? Uh, Amazing Race, Fear Factor, Dancing with the Stars, Hell's Kitchen, those type of shows. Okay, a lot. Let me just say that right off the bat. If I had to choose one, it'd be the Japanese show Gaki no Sky, which is basically the Japanese no laughing game, where if you laugh, you get punished. <laughs> yeah, I would need to learn Japanese for that. However, on the American end, what I would love to do. I think I would demolish this fear factor. Uh, I, I I would obliterate anyone on that show. Probably anyone. I would not care. How much is there at the end? Fifty thousand dollars? What is it? Not enough. For the stuff they go through. Look! Look at this guy. <laughs> not, not oh, so, oh, Peyton, uh, you drive me crazy, sir. <laughs> you drive me kitten. Oh, it's not enough, dude. Fifty grand. Hey, fifty thousand dollars to eat do bugs. For all the crap oh, dude, they have to Mike, go through. Oh, dude, I'm literally angry right now. <laughs> you are the negativity trying to come into my life this week, and sir. I made it. No, you okay. didn't. <laughs> we'll see. We'll you know, see. You know what I've gotten into recently is what have uh, you the show into? Chernobyl on HBO. Really? Oh, okay. It's terrifying. Yeah. Just Radiation, that's a, that's a horrible way to go. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst. Your body's breaking down right. on a cellular level. Atomic level, actually. The end of the most recent episode is just, like, frightening. So basically, with, with, with radiation death, you're basically bleeding out. That's what happens. Well, I think right? what they described on the show is that it's like a million tiny bullets just going through your body. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well. Great way to start the show. No, Very okay. positive uh, yeah, start to the show. Right. Uh, no, uh, I, I think we answered Matt's question, right? Yeah. I, yes. Fear Factor, you know what else I would like to do? What? I need some training, probably. American Fear Ninja Warrior. Yeah. I knew mm. it. Or The Rocks one. Ding. The Rocks new show, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But those guys are like ridiculous athletes. Yeah. Just like the what? tensile strength or whatever just to do all that. Yeah, I, I think give me, give me a year. All right. Yeah, give me a year and I think I'd be good. Matt, fun question. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining in. Tell your friends that we answered it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited for our guest this week. I've been very eager to talk to this amazing actor, gentleman, scholar, Graham Rogers. You might know, uh, recognize him from Atypical and also from Ray Donovan. He just joined on that series, I think, the last couple of years. Yeah. And yeah, such a cool guy. I, I know him from a mutual friend. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Graham Rogers. Why is we Sam like <laughs> jiving <laughs> and looking right at me? Man, it all makes sense. <laughs> Dude, welcome on the show, man. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I gotta ask you, why do you go for the lesser of the uh, gaming consoles, the Xbox? 
The you know what? Wow, just, shots fired! Right I know, out the gates. I, 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 right out, right out the gates. All right, thank you. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, here's the thing. I was like, I didn't have video games as a kid, so yeah. I was like, so I'm way behind the curve. So I was like, I started with an Xbox, and like, I don't know. It's a thing that if you, I, I feel like if you like, you know, whatever you start with, you got to stick with because it's like I play Fortnite. I clock yeah. in the amount of Fortnite I clock in on my Xbox. Like I should be, I should be pro. I should be like ninja status. Like he's like the best Fortnite player, or whatever. But uh, I just can't compete. I can't compete with these kids. I can't switch consoles. Mm. I got, I got to stick to what I know. I got to stick with the controller I know, the interface I know. I can only play one game at a time. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's difficult out there. Brother, that's my problem, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not joining the Fortnite craze <laughs> because. Yeah. People online are way too good. It's these kids. Yeah. Dude. Oh, I, uh, by the way, just keep it, like, pretty close. Yeah. Can yeah, you guys so hear me? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's these kids. And uh, there's certain times of the day I'll avoid playing because I'm like, oh, I know the middle schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> I know the middle schoolers are, like, getting on right now. They just got, they just, the East Coast kids just got off school. They're rushing back to their Xbox, PS4, you know, what have you. Dude, but... With Fortnite, I watch my brother play this, and I'm like, hey, man, you wait, like, ten minutes to join a game, and then he, like, dies right away. And then he has to wait another ten minutes to join another game. Is yeah, this correct? Yeah, you call that a potato. If he's dying <laughs> right away. That's when I am. <laughs> but, like, an hour will go by, and he's like, I've played three games. And I'm like, okay, what's, like, that's way too much Lag time. What do you do in the middle? Well, I think he's got to work on his internet. I think. I mean, I, I could. I mean, I die right away, and I could clock in like ten games in mm-hmm. in ten minutes. You know. Oh wow. Die. Mm-hmm. I call. Oh, them it's hot, an internet. I call them hot drops. Yeah. Okay. I always do. Is you're on a bus. You're on a bus that takes you over the map, and you could jump off the bus at any time. You could also hit a button to thank the bus driver, which everybody does. There is no bus driver, but everyone thanks mm-hmm. him. Which I think is amazing. Wait, what? So there's a button you hit to thank this bus driver that doesn't exist. But there was an uh, online petition to uh, thank the bus driver as you jump off. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. s- wow. Okay. So and it's like you see everyone that's thanked the bus driver. And it's like a Fortnite thing. Like because I, I play, you play, you play solos by yourself. I, I don't ever mess with <clears throat> Or you can play. Yeah, I need, I need, you look scared saying I need, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, need, I, need, uh, I need to move in a unit. Um, and so, I don't even, well, so what were we talking about? Taking the bus driver. Oh, hot drops, right. So uh, that's what I do. I do. I, I, I play with a, 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 a group of guys, the same, same guys, my little brother, my roommate, and uh, our friend uh, that we've met once wow. that lives in Austin, Texas. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, yeah, so we, we all, we, he, we like hot drops. So we drop right away into like a high mm-hmm. population, high, uh, high intensity area, and usually die right away. But, yeah. you know. Just right into the it, chaos of things. The, the, the chaos. rush. We feel like warriors, you know. The rush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This we, makes we gotta me... get you on. We gotta. <laughs> Good. I'll... Honestly, one day plan you'll be just as good as us, even though we've been playing together <laughs> for years. We have. We've in the in like the two years we've been playing, we've won twice. Oh my gosh. Won twice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe. It's just I'd rather go real paintballing. I play video games. Real paintballing. Yeah. But I, you, play, you play real video games. Yeah, I, I play real video games, too. <laughs> I'm part of the hip... What is that? Uh, no, I like Assassin's Creed. I like campaign stuff. Stuff oh, for the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Red Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't play online because, again, like you, people are way too good. And I'm like, I don't have time to get that good. Yeah, and they also play yeah. on their computers. Yeah, they, that's they faster. Like a, they could type it. They could type what to do. Or yeah. w- I don't know what, what goes on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's more than that. But. Magic. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Um, so you, th- this is like a way for you to unwind, correct? To a certain extent? It's a way of life, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, no, it's not healthy. I'm 28 years old. I, I should not be playing this much. No, I disagree. Um, I disagree. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, I wholeheartedly <laughs> disagree because, A, you seem like a successful actor. You seem like a very nice guy, and if you unwind with video games every now and then, I hope it's every now and then. It's not like now every... and then. That's that's, that's <laughs> it's, uh, 
<laughs> it's, it's, you know, I actually got some games in before this morning. I, <laughs> I was playing, playing late and then woke up a little early to fit a couple in. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, it's an, it's an addiction, I think, at this point. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, it brings me joy. Yeah. There you go. You know? But you've always seemed, I mean, I've only met you like a handful of times, I think. And from what I've seen of your Instagram and what I've heard from, you know, Brit and stuff, like you're pretty laid back guy. It seems like all, all around. On social media, it seems that way, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I I, I I kind of uh, try to want to be more like that, more more unwound at times. It's just hard for me. Well, Fortnite's a good outlet. Yeah. <laughs> This is this is me. No, though. but I I've seen I see that you go on uh I I I see that you go on hikes every morning and stuff like that and I'm like I got to what I, I got to do that. I got to wake up, I got to go on a hike. Mm. You see this you see the sunrise every yeah, day, right? Mor- but not it's so funny. I always have to correct people. I feel so bad. It's not every day. It seems like you it though. You see the sunset every day. Sunrise. Excuse sunrise. Me. Sun, yeah, no, yeah, but But you, it's not uh, every day. But that's amazing. You get up, you go on these hikes. It's like that's like that's a, like uh, some smart guy in some book said like if you you're gonna be successful if you see the sunrise every day. You know, kind of actually. That's not too far away from the truth. But which in Fortnite it go- covers a couple of days, so you will see the, uh, the, <laughs> you know, the sun. So I see it a couple times a day. So you know, I expect to be wildly successful. <laughs> no man, it's just I. Uh, I like to unwind with certain stuff. I'll give you an example what my problem is. The last two weeks have been nonstop, like, full days. I'm like, I have stuff to do all day long for two weeks straight, okay? Yeah, okay. And then the one day where I'm like, cool, I'm done with everything I've needed to do. Everything's good. I kind of have really nothing to do now. It's like 11 a.m. on yeah. a Thursday. And then I'm just like, okay, cool. Uh, all right, I'll just, uh, I don't know, watch some YouTube videos. And then 1 o'clock comes around, and I'm going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's not healthy. Well, I, I think it's the way, like, uh, we're, like, wired today. I feel like, I feel like we need to feel like we're being productive. Or, or, like, I know, like, a lot of my friends and stuff like that, me, like, I feel feel a lot of guilt when I'm, like, lazy or something like that yeah and i i don't know if that's right or wrong i don't know if we should be like able to just be like all right it's okay to chill every once in a while i think i mean got to find a balance i definitely shouldn't be clocking in six hours of Fortnite. yeah but i feel terrible after because i'm like the things i could have been doing but you don't do that you know? every day do you or <laughs> <laughs> okay okay you know, I, uh, no, like it doesn't I'm, seem when, like you no, do when it, i'm right? work when i'm working i don't and i try to like um I try to, you know, I try to, like, uh, I, I enjoy boxing, so I go, um, I go boxing, like, yeah. I, I box for, like, two hours yesterday, and, like, so I try to, because yeah. when you're not, when you're not, wor- it's, like, either you're working, and, like, your whole day's eating up, because you're, you know, they, they kind of uh, own you, and, um, and then when you're not, you have all this free time, so it's kind of just hard to figure out what to do with all this yeah. um, idle time, so it's, like, uh so yeah, yeah, it's like what you fill it with, you, but it, but it seems like you fill it with really like um, healthy things and things that uh, I try, man, benefit you. you I know? try, but it gets boring like that after a while. I just got back from Japan just a, a oh, few wow. weeks ago, and that was great because it was like forced vacation time, which is you're in a different city too with my best friends. Yeah, that's great. We don't have to do anything, you know. But it was filled with at the same time, like yeah, we were silly billies, uh, you know. A good part of it, but the other part was filled with, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other part was like filled with these like amazing conversations, and that's how what I like to balance my life with. You know, I don't know. I, I sometimes wish I can just go do, but no, no, I don't actually. Like I like playing video games whenever it's a game I like, and then uh, other stuff I just want to go do <clears throat> crazy stuff, like go shoot a bunch of like automatic guns in the middle of the desert or something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's always a good way to blow off steam. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of steam. I think that's the issue. That's good. That's good. I think it's I think all the running up the mountains in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It, it sounds like you got a lot of drive. I, I don't think I think it's a good thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the caffeine too. Like right now, I'm like, you want to you you, you want to go go kart race or paintball, Graham? <laughs> like, 
I would actually I would love to go go kart. And that's one of my favorite oh. things to do out here is at Racers Edge in Burbank. <clears throat> oh, there's a there's one out here. Yeah, don't even get me started on Mario Kart, right? You know, but <laughs> are you Mario Kart? You, oh, you Mario Kart? The N64 Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, I I I Mario, I Mario Kart myself. Oh, do you? Who's I your character? Uh, I usually go with Yoshi. For racing or battle? Uh, uh, racing. I don't do the battle stuff. He's the fastest racer. On 64, they say, yeah. He's the fastest, but with battling, you want to go with a heavier guy in case you make contact. That's a lie. That's a lie. I go with Wario on the new Nintendo Switch and the Wii U, right? Yeah. I don't Switch. know about I don't yeah. know about the Switch, but I, I know about N sixty four, and I I like I also <clears throat> use Mario in, in, for a couple reasons. Yeah, he's a vocal player. Yeah. So if you throw a random green back or you drop a <laughs> banana, <laughs> somebody slips on it. Like, like, ah, ah, ah. So you yeah. know you got somebody. <laughs> you may not have seen it, but you know you got you know you got it. <laughs> and there's only two characters that if you have a collision with. Like DK and Bowser, you'll lose a balloon in like battle mode or something yeah. like that. But those are the only two. Everyone else, if you have a collision running with them, then uh, they lose a balloon. Yeah. So he just like, looks like a felon as well, Wario. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's like misunderstood. I think he's got. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> His literal name is Wario. War. <laughs> it's uh, Waluigi I'm worried about. He's kind of pervy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Uh, you don't trust that? <laughs> <laughs> I trust that more than Waluigi. Let's pull up Waluigi. I mean, look at that face. No one loves Waluigi. He nah. gets no love. Oh, come on. Let's go to this one right here. I mean, that that's those are two criminals. <laughs> Obviously two criminals. They're related, and look at the difference in body types. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? That's actually like me and William, my brother. Yeah. If on like some extreme scale, yeah, like uh, Waluigi's uh, got like three feet on him. It's like, yeah, my brother is tall. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, so you, where, where'd you go in Japan? Kyoto uh, for a little bit, and then stayed most of the time in Tokyo. Okay, so I I love Nara though. I don't know, have you gone? No, I was hoping you'd say Tokyo because that's the only place I know about. Yeah, in, uh, Japan. That's that's I it. Get, I gotta get over there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, one of the best trips I've ever taken in my life. Yeah. It was amazing. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, like uh, I hear, I, I hear they got great skiing there and stuff like that. I hear that's like Ski, <laughs> yeah, we didn't do skiing much. Yeah, it's, it's like more skiing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, it was like really cool. <laughs> yeah. We did go what on an insane part of the trip. Was an insane tour of some of the best coffee brewers uh, in the world. Really? I'm telling you, man. You guys get all yipped up on. <laughs> Dude, we had to. We were walking co around coffee tour. We were walking around 16 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. And it was amazing. We'd have like four coffee stops throughout the day. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah. That's you great. like coffee? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Two cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of my tap. Um, um, so, yeah, but you, what, what you went with a couple friends? Yeah, two of my best friends. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. A little guys trip. Oh, that, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah tra traveling with uh, with friends has got to be the best thing you could do. You know. Yeah. Small group. I recommend yeah. a small group. Otherwise, the bigger the group, the more likely someone in the group doesn't want to do some of the other activities. Which was, What was cool about our group, that everybody was, A, fit enough to want to walk around and do shit do, all do day the, long. Do the 4 a.m. hikes? <laughs> Not that early. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we want to go do, um, if we, when we go back to Japan, we do want to do Mount Fuji. We want to climb Mount Fuji. Oh, wow. Yeah. How, how high is that? No clue. No clue. It's pretty high, though. <laughs> way above the clouds. Way above the clouds. Yeah, me and my buddies were thinking of taking down Everest. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Probably die. <laughs> um, Literally, that's one of the most dangerous things a person can do. I hear now that there's, like, it's, like, the world's highest, like, uh, uh, trash can. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just been this project to, like, take off, tr take out all the trash and also, like, the unlucky climbers that... Yeah. Bit the dust. What do you want to do? Anything recent? Like, do you have any Fortnite, like Fortnite? For no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, like travel wise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, like me and Britt, we we were just in the Philippines. We loved that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so, cheap, cheap to go to Southeast Asia. Yeah, I mean, just and and I I love the people there. It's just like uh, every, everyone was so sweet, so kind. It's like, and we went over Christmas, so it's like. Um, the Philippines, they go crazy for Christmas. They love, they love Christmas there, but, um, I would love, 
I, I would love to get um, back to South Africa. I went to, um, mm. I think that's my favorite place I've ever been was Cape Town. I would love really? To, and But I didn't get to spend enough time. Like, I would love to do, like, more of an Anthony Bourdain style of uh, traveling where I was just, like, because um, I was kind of in, like, hotel and just kind of had, like, tourist activities plan and stuff like that but i'd really like to kind of like dive into um figure out more like the the culture there in cape town and stuff like that yeah. which me and Britt got to do a lot of in um the philippines philippines which was really fun it's it was amazing really interesting so just so our <clears throat> our listeners and for me because I, I don't know much much about you personally you're from philly yeah gr- west west west, west, west chester it's just west of Chester. Okay. Which is... <laughs> west of Chester. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like a half an hour west of uh, Philadelphia. Cool. And you lived there most of your life? Or did you come out to L.A. shortly after for acting? I, mo- I moved out to L.A. Oh, so, sorry, just a friendly reminder. Keep oh. it like, yeah, yeah. And feel All free right. to adjust it, yeah. All right, let me get this. By the, the way, this tea's great. Yeah. This is the first time I've had it. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll wake you up, too. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I moved, I, I first, I think I went to, uh, New York to try, uh, I, I, so I played soccer in school. I, I, my goal was to become a professional soccer player, mm. but I don't even, I wasn't even like starting on the JV, my junior, <laughs> my junior year, which is like the recruiting year. So I wasn't even on the varsity, I was on the JV and yeah. I, I don't even think I was starting. So I was like, had to give that up. <laughs> Um, so then I was like, oh, yeah, I'll try to, I'll try to be, a, a, my mom says I'm handsome. I'll try to be a, a model in New York. <laughs> so I went to New York, and that, nobody would, uh, uh, no agency would take me on as a, a model, so I couldn't, I couldn't make it there as a, as a model. So Unbelievable. Then, that, yeah, know, that my mom thought the same thing. <laughs> um, so then, uh, then I think... I, it's so odd. I look back and it just doesn't make any sense. It was, I was so I got so lucky because my dad was the principal of my high school that I was at. Oh. Both my parents were were in education and stuff. And I was like, I was, I was guys. It's like uh, I was thinking of going to L.A. and um, trying to be an actor, which I'd never done any acting. And uh, wait, where did that where did that idea? I, come I from? think I was just trying to avoid college. Like uh, like oh. I, I wanted to play soccer in college, but I couldn't even play in high school. Um, <laughs> So it was like, so, but f- for some reason, I, my parents, like, they let me, they were like, yeah, go ahead. My, d- my dad was the principal of like the school. And Whoa. so I think, I think the plan was like, yeah, go out for like a month. See, I think they're like, go do it. He's going to hate it. He'll be back. Um, I, I think. And then, so I, I came out and I, I ended up just getting like really, uh, really l- lucky right away. Like I look, uh, I look, by the way, moving to LA at that age like 18 17 was is a great thing because it's like you don't you don't realize how shitty your life is like you don't mind it like i was like sleeping on floors sleeping on couches and i was like i don't i don't have a curfew i could buy i could just spend like my whole grocery budget on like you know marshmallows like i don't you know i just i thought it was wonderful um so then uh so yeah, so then I, I ended up, I was just really naive, which I think was like my greatest strength because it was like, I ended up at the Sorority Row premiere. I don't know if, uh, if you've ever seen that movie. It's like a ja- okay. Jamie Chung um, It's movie. a horror movie, right? Horror movie. Yeah, it was, it was good. I ended up, but I remember somebody there, I ended up at like the after party and somebody there was like, hey, that guy's like an, uh, an agent. He's a, he's a good agent. I was like, oh, that's great. I'm like, I don't, I don't have an agent. And I went up to the guy. I was like, hey, hey, how you doing? I hear you're an agent. It's crazy. I'm meeting you because I'm actually looking for an agent. I just moved here. And and he, I think he thought it was, like, funny <laughs> that it was, like, some somebody thought that it worked like that. And yeah. he, was just like, he was like, I think I was persistent. I was like, no, you should you should rep me, even though I'm terrible at acting at that t- t- time. And he was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll send you I'll send you on an audition. And, uh, and uh, so he sent me on this audition. And I don't know if I was good or anything. I think I may have just been like, um, like uh, green or wh- you know whatever. So I went on this audition and I like finished up. I was like, so what do you guys think? Are we doing this? <laughs> and uh, they're like, yeah, they're like, oh no, it doesn't, it, do- it doesn't work like that. And I was like, well, what, what do you want me to do? Like, uh, well, I left my my cell phone number outside, so just call me if if we're doing this. 
And so, oh my so, god! Because I thought that's how it worked. I didn't. I had, I had no idea. And, right, um, right. And so, uh, so I think they called the guy that sent me on the audition. They're like, he, like, he's not gonna get the job, but uh, but you should maybe rep him because uh, he's like we thought he was kind of funny. We thought he was like uh, like weird. <laughs> so you should. <laughs> so I ended up getting an agent that way, which is just really like. Lucky, really, yeah. You know, there's a genuine quality about you that I think people respond to in a positive way. Well, thank you, thank you, yeah. or at least there was. But there was, De- no, it definitely was. <laughs> I, let's make it's that clear. It's a now. was. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think back on it, I'm like, man, I really That's, got lucky. You know, you hit on something that I thought was so true. When you're 18, kind of like that late teens to early 20s, you're very naive. You're yeah. willing to put up with a lot of stuff. I feel like as I've gotten older, because I didn't live, I didn't move out to LA until I was 21, mm-hmm. and I had already gone to college and everything, and I was like, oh, I definitely want to have my own bathroom. I'm tired of sharing bathroom yeah, with yeah. my brothers. <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting up with that. You know what I mean? And after I was sleeping on a couch for like, I think three weeks or so or a month, and I was like, oh, this, like, I was so, so appreciative. Don't get me wrong. Really appreciative. But I was like, no, I definitely need my own room. I need... And as I got older, I was like, oh, I don't want to go back to sharing a bathroom everywhere. I have to do something with this. Yeah, yeah. I kind of miss that kind of na- naivety. Naivete. Naivete. Well, there's public restrooms everywhere. Have you ever yeah. had this club, you know, Taco Bell, you know? Yeah, the, I don't really use those, man. Dude, For real. I've been too spoiled. No, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just kind of miss those days. Not necessarily miss those days, but miss that kind of mindset of just yeah, let's go with the flow and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm just uh, yeah. I th- I think about that a, a lot. Like I have this um really great um, mentor out here, an acting coach. That oh. kind of kind of always brings it back to like what like just kind of thinking the mindset sometimes of like your 17 year old self because sometimes it's like as you progress <laughs> in the industry or as a professor, you're like say you get like an audition that's like five o'clock in Santa Monica. You're like, what? Like traffic right. out there? Like, oh, unbelievable. And you're like, you'll be like, you'll throw a fit about it and stuff like that. And at yeah. 17, if somebody was to tell you like, you've got an audition to be in the background like of, of some, you know, some show or something like that, like, but you have to, you have to fly to LA. You'd be like, yes, I'm in. That's the greatest thing in the world, you know? So sometimes you gotta like you gotta kind of maintain that. Um, I feel like there, maybe there's just like less ego involved, you know, when you're at that age. You know, you're just excited. Yeah. You you hit on something. Your mentor is it cool to mention him or is he? Smith? Oh yeah, Lee Kilton Smith couldn't act. Great acting coach, really great wow. um, out here and um, in North Hollywood actually. And and you said he said something to the fact that remember well, your 17 year old version. What she? No, she, she. Excuse me. Damn it. I, I just assumed someone's gender. <laughs> the show is all gone. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's like kind of. She, she has this thing like, um, she, uh, yeah. She 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 has this post it on her um, on her door that every time she walks mm. out it says, um, "I am just beginning." So it's like, mm. I think it's a, it's a good thing to think about because it's like keep that mindset of a beginner because it's like. Um, I think that beginning mindset is uh, you're not really it's not really ego clowning any, anything you're like you're like eager to learn you're um, you know and you're you're just more grateful I think when, yeah. you're, when you're beginning things you're not taking things personally you're just you know and it's also like wherever you are there's there's places to go from there so wherever you are start there you know that's the positive and the the good I call it the good white belt where you what you describe but there are sometimes those people who have that ego clouding them in the beginning do you know what I mean y- yeah I'm sure yeah, yeah 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 but no that's the correct mindset to have I think in a lot of things also yeah. like I don't my know my post it says you're ending <laughs> on my <laughs> It's all over, buddy. You um, had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's also an aspect of having fun with your work, which I think a lot of people forget to do as they get more and more into their career. Like, you're supposed to have, be having fun while doing this. Right, yeah. And I'm trying to reconnect with that as well. Yes. Well, it's ridiculous what you're doing. You know, it's like you sit in a makeup chair and then yeah. you go you go play. play like, it, sometimes it cracks me up. 
because I'll, I'll get in the mood of taking it really seriously. And you're just like, we're just all pretending <laughs> to know, be right? other people. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's oh, like making it's a fuss to... about where to put a cup. And you're like, just put the cup down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, just, it's e- yeah, I get what you're saying. It's easy to get like, uh, start taking it seriously. But yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous at the end of, you know. Well, it, it might be this. I don't know if you agree or disagree, but the balance to it. Because well, yes. I, w- I still want to do good work. I just don't yeah. want to make it sloppy. So there's that seriousness aspect. and But you still want to have fun. It's always tr- it's always interesting trying to calibrate to that as, yeah. as an actor. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peyton, how much time do we have? we got Look, four minutes. Four minutes. I'll tell you what. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back, and we'll catch up with some current events with a ridiculous video. And maybe some more uh, info on you on fishing. If you still fish, do you still yeah, fish? Yeah, fish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that a little bit. All right, we'll be right back. Graham. Yeah. Uh, you still fish, sir? I Yeah, not as much as I would like. I, 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 I fish on the East Coast. It was like... Um, Okay. For never like, on the West Coast. Well, I do every once in a while. That was like one of the first dates me and Britt went on. <laughs> That's maybe, awesome. Maybe a terrible date. I took her like deep sea fishing. That's fishing. not terrible. That sounds fun. I mean, yeah, she's like she's like a girl that's like down for uh, anything. So, so thank God for that because yeah. it could have been, you know, who knows who knows what uh, so if somebody wants to be on the high seas for right. Mystic, but um. It's just a di- different fishing on the East Coast. It's like, uh, you know, bass fishing and stuff. There's, yeah. We don't have, like, as many lakes out here, so. Dude, uh, I'm inviting myself. Uh, I would love to go fishing with you sometimes. Oh, dude. I, miss fi- I haven't gone since I was a kid, and I always wanted to go back, but. I'll take you. I'll take you. Marina Del Rey. You'll love it. You have to wake up before the sun uh, sunrise. I'll be there. And then, uh, yeah, it's like 50 bucks. You, you go out on this uh, the boat for, like, six hours, deep-sea fishing. That's keep, it? You keep whatever you catch. Yeah, rod, fishing license. It's a good deal. Rod, fishing license, bait, and then you could you could keep oh. whatever you catch. Get like sea bass, stuff like that. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to go, man. Seriously. Oh, it's fun. It's really fun. Uh, I always love to get do stuff like that different in, in LA because I feel like LA has a lot of opportunity to do cool stuff like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Also, Absolutely. Any, any excuse to get out of the city a little bit, you know, away from people, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's, well, you're on a boat. You're in a boat. Yeah, not too many people, you know. No, no. <laughs> As I get older, I feel like I'm just going to get more and more isolated. You're just going to live on a boat, throw an anchor or, out. <laughs> yeah, or on, in the mountains <laughs> and just be like, yeah, it takes about three hours to get to Weesam, and then you have to hike for another two. So that, let's not hang that out would, with them. That would seem appropriate, though. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's, it's like, okay, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you came all this way. It better be for a good reason. No. Um, Michael. Yes, let's sir. uh um, which first let's do some current events i'm i'm excited for this week's current events okay i don't even know what we're going to talk about I, he just tells me and then we talk about it um but we'll we'll start off on on a bit of a sad note but, oh uh, okay no. um <laughs> grumpy cat died this week yeah. yeah wow seven seven years old oh that's young wow you a cat guy my cat <laughs> I, I grew up with cats, yeah. Are you crying? Yeah, no, my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. Oh, did, <laughs> do you know Do you know what Grump, Grumpy Cat's real name is? Chester? I don't know. Uh, Tartar sauce. Tart oh. with a D. Tartar. Okay. Good to know. Well, rest in peace, Grumpy Cat. Yeah, it's sad. Looks like a nice guy. Do we know what, what was the cause? <laughs> Uh, complications from a UTI. Oh, Dang. okay. And okay, well, <laughs> that could that could eat up all nine lives in one. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. Oh, that really was a little bit of a downer. There you go. It's a it's a current event. It is a current event. Not all of them. Actually, can be all happy. of these are downers. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Great. Let's go <laughs> next one. <laughs> Um, there's a helium shortage that's, uh, worrying, <laughs> oh my God, worrying scientists and researchers. Wait, it's where, wh- why, why is that? Not enough balloons. <laughs> apparently helium, this is, this apparently is terrible. helium is the workhorse of chemistry. Wow. 
Who knew? I, I guess it's not easy to make. I yeah. feel bad about all the helium I've taken in over the years. <laughs> yeah. You wasted a lot of helium, yeah. bro. And on top of that, apparently Party City is closing a bunch of stores because of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine your business <laughs> showing up to <laughs> being helium. Showing up to little kids' birthday parties with just a bunch of droopy balloons at the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's where the party's at. Oh, but man. yeah, apparently, like they use it all in like MRIs. Uh, oh shit! Se- <laughs> they use helium a lot. So uh, it is not liquid a liquid helium is like liquid gold to scientists. Coldest substance in the world. Oh. Minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. And that's inhaling? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's do the next one. Uh, Kentucky toddler found alive in the mountains, mountainous area after three days on his own. Oh, wow. For three days? For three days. Yeah, ki- kids are resilient, you know. <laughs> oh man! I think it's a new parenting technique uh, that they're using today, dude. I know some people who can adults who can survive for three days. Three days? That's insane. Three is three days without water. That's like, are yeah, you yeah. supposed to? Be, uh, you know. Yeah, that's that's. I. Do you think you can survive for three days in the, uh, in the woods? Yeah, I've done it before. Seriously? Yeah, I, I used to go to um, a survival camp in upstate New York, and uh, that was part of it, three days on an island in Algonquin Park. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had um, uh, with iodine tablets to purify water. So Whoa. I was like, I had a water, you know, easy water source, but uh, I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy it at all. Yeah. Can uh, I ask you something? Does it get boring? That was the biggest thing. It was boring. And just, I mean, you know, I'm a real... I like having people around, and it was like, mm. and it was, uh, I remember finding joy when um, uh, airplanes would fly overhead. It was like, there's a, there's somebody. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, <laughs> well, I actually, went- yeah, I still have my journal from it, and there's pages and pages of fractions, because all I had was um, a sleeping bag, um, a, a little, like, tarp, probably the size of this. Like a table and a wow. and a Bible, <laughs> as a Christian <laughs> survival camp. Yeah, and uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know where. I was. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have a. It wasn't a. I think it was supposed to be like a good, um, a good experience for everybody. But I, I, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm just imagining you like day two. You're like Tom Hanks from Castaway. <laughs> that's what it felt. That's what it felt like. I dislocated my thumb on the first day. What? Because we had we had canoes, so we all had to canoe to different islands, and uh, it was a group. It was like a group. It was a, sur- a survival camp. They were training us. It was like a group of like yeah, uh, I think twelve guys, um, training to be counselors at the survival camp. And so one of the things was three. It's called a three day solo thing. Right? But they're like, you're not allowed to use your canoe as a shelter. You have to go build your own shelter. But I got off. I was like, nobody's gonna see me. I'm gonna use my canoe as a yeah. shelter. And so I was trying to pull it up. Onto onto the, the island that I was assigned to, and uh, I pulled it, and like right off the bat, like yanked it. It got caught on something. I like dislocated my thumb, and I was like, "Well, you're <clears> off, to, <throat> off to a great start. Here we go." <laughs> Did you guys have to read the hatchet growing up? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? No, I don't know what That's that is. Probably you, you don't know what that is? It's probably oh, the last book I read. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Jesus. It's like, it, I, I just remember reading it in like fifth grade. It's basically about this or this kid who is in a plane crash in the wilderness and has to survive the winter. Yeah. Uh, or like all his time on the, in this like isolated place until someone finds him. Wow. Yeah, remember the pilot? He has to go get like the shoes off the pilot that's in the water. Yeah. Dead wow. pilot. <laughs> I like the way you made eye contact with me. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Corpse. Yeah. Uh, I, that's, I think that's bull crap. You can use the canoe. It's survival. Yeah, yeah, I, th- I thought so too, but, uh, you know. Can we write a letter was, to them? <laughs> you know, it was, it, was, it was a good camp, though. It was a good camp. It was like, you know, definitely, uh, you know, looking back, I'm glad I went through it. Just, uh. you know, but I didn't enjoy it at the time. I, I don't know if you remember the iodine tablets. Do you taste the iodine in the water? Or is it tasteless? Yeah, uh, you taste it. It's a little, it's a little different. Okay. It's, um, 
Am I saying that right? Is it is it iodine that's used to? I, yeah, it iodine. might be yeah. some. I think it's iodine tablets. For what? But I didn't have anything to make a fire, so I can like usually boil it. But I, I didn't yeah. have that. So water, I water, water purifying. It's iodine. I, I believe it's iodine. Yeah, but it's not red, right? It doesn't make the water red because I'm thinking of iodine. You rub on your. For no, cuts. it was it was like yeah, little, yeah. little iodine. It was like little beads okay. that you put in there, and then um. I've yeah. seen I've seen people use them before. Yeah. Um, well. Any more current events, Michael? I'm trying to find something good. Yeah. If you can't, that's fine. It, it, you know what? I kind of want to see this video that we've been that I sent you this morning. Okay. So uh, I was explaining to um, uh, Graham here that I follow this account on Instagram called McDojo Life, and it showcases the worst, the best <laughs> worst martial artists out there. And this, by far, is one of the best videos I've seen in a while. Can you see? You good? Yeah. Cool. Michael, whenever you're ready, let's uh, play this clip. <laughs> it's just a kid. Just, he just, just choke just, slams him. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. This, yeah, this is... Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's <laughs> 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 amazing. <laughs> but, <laughs> what did he do there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay. He's if, okay for people. That guy can fight. Listening, <laughs> what happened was this guy is beating the crap out of children. children. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a it's a choreographed <laughs> fight sequence where children yeah. come up to him like middle schoolers and elementary <laughs> kids, and he's a grown man. What was like the the best case scenario in his head? It's like, oh yeah, when people see this. They're going to want to join my school. <laughs> I will beat your child. I'll teach him to be like me. <laughs> By the way, some of those kids were actually pretty good if they weren't fighting an adult. <laughs> yeah, they, they, it looked like they had a chance until they gave him a purple nerple. And, <laughs> uh, and he slapped one of those kids way too hard. <laughs> I think I was just, you know, showing his dominance there. I felt like that kid was coming out a little too hot with the kicks. Said no, not 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 in my not in my dojo. Uh, you want to do an extra kick? My All dojo, right. my rules. <laughs> run it, run a tight ship here. Oh uh, yeah, you want to do the splits in front of everybody? <laughs> <laughs> a little show off? Huh? Oh, yeah, come here, come here. <laughs> oh dude, oh my gosh. Oh, man, that that made my day. You uh you watching any TV shows? Uh, like for instance, this week has been yeah. an incredible week for finales. First of all, for the people finale, unfortunately, yeah. but it is what it is. Uh, Big Bang Theory ended, and also Game of Thrones when this airs has ended as well. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna watch the last episode of Game of Thrones. I'm f I'm furious. Oh please, please um, tell me why. Uh, do you watch it? Yeah. Do you guys watch it? He's watching it currently, I'm so current oh, okay, spoilers. So I, maybe? I, I don't. Uh, yeah, I won't say anything because I don't want to spoil it, but... Decisions. Very, very upset. Um, things with structural damage. Um, mm -hmm. no, I'm not going to say anything because no, no, you're, you're not caught up, but I'm upset with Game of Thrones. I got to say something. I, 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 I'm almost tempted to have Peyton just leave the room for I one can, second. You need me to. Yeah, because <laughs> okay. I, I, there's one thing I have to address yeah. with you. Is that okay? okay. That's okay, yeah. Okay, just Peyton. Sure the, just the, yeah. the, the hey, thing just isn't... get out of here. Well, uh, you, yeah, if you wait, wait, I'll wave you in to you come can. in. Can, can you hear us? Yeah. Out there as well? Oh, I yeah. don't think so. I okay, hate cool. Peyton. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peyton, I'm just kidding. I don't hate you. Uh, he, he didn't hear you the other one. Okay. Let's talk about how. Spoiler alerts. You know the scorpion uh, arrow things that kill dragons. Yeah, they're in ineffective. And the, you know what happened to them it, uh, before? They killed two so easily. Well, it's just one. Well, the, the other one was the, the night, night king. king. The night king. He he could throw oh, okay. a javelin like, like an, no I, an ice javelin. <laughs> okay. Another thing about that, just from last season, 
they, they couldn't get in the water, right? Remember, Jon Snow is all held up, and they can't they can't cross because the, they can't swim, right? Remember, how'd they get the dragon out of the water? It's a good they point. Fell in the water, it's and where point. did they get that big ass chain that they were dragging it with? Also a good point. Right. You know that 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 I can. Sure. Maybe we'll, there's hooks or something. I I'll give a little leeway. We're buying into dragons. We could buy into the you know maybe they have some scuba outfits or something like that. You know. <laughs> maybe it's like a like a the the chains they had they found somewhere and they had hooks and they just dropped them hoping they're fishing out. Maybe I don't know. Okay, I'll buy into that. I didn't have a problem. Well, with what do you story. well what what are you most? What I, what I'm most upset about. about is like so, so you have a villain for seven years is it eight years seven years six eight. Eight? We're on season eight. This okay. season eight. It's season eight. Okay. You have a villain of eight years that dies from structural damage. Yeah. In lo- the loving arms of a <clears throat> brother lover. Yeah, that I didn't like that. That was weird. It's like I, I didn't. What are we supposed to be rooting for them or feel bad? Or it's like you know. And also, when did characters start like looking into the camera? There's a whole moment where the guy. Like looked into the camera, being like, oh, "I killed the king, king slayer," and like looking right into the camera. Oh. Like, and also, these cameos are getting out of control. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is, you know, just. You Aaron Rodgers, the baseball player. Football. Game of oh, Thrones. Football. Yeah, I mean, yeah, football player. Oh, okay. What did what was he in it? Sorry, I, I missed that part. He was in. He 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 was one of like the archers, and then he gets like. Burned up. Oh, okay. In dragon fire later. He played Tyrion. <laughs> well, Game of Thrones has had a lot of cameos over, or especially recently. Like they had what the Mets pitcher Noah Syndergaard at one point. Yeah, uh, and then Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, but that was more for Maisie Williams to like, yeah, because she wants she likes him, I guess. And Obama, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually played one of the the, the scenes in the mountain. As the mountain, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um. No, but uh, I agree with you on the structural damage death of one of the k- main characters. Yeah. That was a little unsatisfying. Although, I don't know what's... Again, we, we, we're recording this on Saturday, the day before the finale, so maybe they'll come back. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what I... Again, my biggest problem is this. One of the biggest things. Uh, Tactics-wise for the Battle of Winterfell didn't make sense at all. Like um, throwing the, un- the 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 Dothraki like on horseback. Yeah, the Dothraki attacking the undead. Yeah. Immediately, you have two dragons that apparently can make a lot of fire. Just make a circle of fire around the yeah. the the, the uh, castle. Fell. Yeah, that's like your go-to plan right there. Yeah. Well, this this all this historically happened before the book um, The Art of War came out. Mm. So the the, <laughs> war, it's the war tactics back then. Was... Um, <laughs> I don't like character some certain character developments seemed out of left field to me. I could buy from a writing standpoint. It's, okay, it's I can buy the the turn. It's just with the amount of time that they've spent on it is where I have trouble with it. Yeah, the amount of time they spent on uh, Danny's turn. Oh yeah. Yeah, because he's the Mad King. Uh, you could you could see it possibly happening if it's like over like a maybe five episode span, right? But when it's just like three episodes, yeah, yeah, it's problematic. Yeah, okay. people don't like to get rejected, though. You know, it's the whole thing with um, by their nephew lover. Their nephew. <laughs> <laughs> that's the quote. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the quote yeah. for the episode. People <laughs> hate to get rejected by their. <laughs> Dude. But that's uh, a spoiler. That would be a spoiler for Peyton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Well, no. He, he, too, sorry, Peyton. <laughs> we'll tell him tomorrow. How does that sound? We'll tell him tomorrow what it is. Um, I, dude, I have to vent a little bit. Go. Yeah, please. Dude. Okay. You killed one of those dragons with those scorpion huge arrow things so easily. And then on that huge battle sequence, none of them hit her? Not one. Not one? Mm-mm. And you saw the distance those things go, right? Why didn't they just shoot them all at the dragon during that episode before? Plot armor. Yeah, poor, yeah, poor uh, battle tactics on both sides, I think. 
Speaking of, you ever think about how terrible it must have been for like revolutionary war fights when you just have to line up across from each other, hoping the hoping the guy aiming a a musket miss miss. It had to be the like <laughs> what what? How did that fighting style come into play? Like it was like we're just gonna stand in lines across from each other and shoot. You want, I mean, you want me to explain it to you? Why? Sure, yeah, please. So the, the aiming was horrible on those guns, right? Right, right, right. So you would have to line up the guys all together, all at once, hoping that, like, if we fire all at w- all at the same time, there's a better chance of us hitting somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's just that both sides agreed to this style of fight, um, and, then, and then you got to be in line waiting, like the guy in front of you. Three in front of you goes down. It's yeah, like, it's like being in the uh, waiting room for an audition. Like they call you, like, <laughs> dude. Oh, I'm 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 three away from going in there. You- <laughs> <laughs> so you're in you're in line. That's exactly what it's like. Same intensity. Uh, no. Yeah. Um, no. You think that's bad? Uh, I watched Outlaw King on Netflix, which is back uh, the the Braveheart time where uh, Scotland and England were fighting with right. swords right. and horses. Imagine being on the front line and horses are charging at you. Yeah. I don't, That's fucking bonkers, dude. I don't think I'd make it in that, that yeah. time. You know, they say they, God can't, God won't give you more than you could handle. There's a reason I was born in this part, <laughs> part of time, I think. <laughs> Stand your ground. <laughs> <laughs> They're horses, bro. Uh, yeah. Uh, you really believe that? Because that's kind of uh, something I I kind of adopt my life by. Uh, what that uh, God doesn't give you more than you can. If you don't, that's fine. I was just uh, I was just curious. Oh, about well, um, yeah, I think I think yeah, I think uh, I think that's yeah, I th- I think so. I yeah, think I believe in. I don't know if I've given it uh, as much thought, okay. but but uh, yeah, it's like you know through the struggles and the trials and the tribulations, I feel like you really grow as people and. Mm. And stuff. No, yeah. I, d- I don't mean to take it a serious turn, but that's no, giving me no, a lot I'll, of. Uh, I'll, I'll go serious. No, no, <laughs> I'll go real serious. <laughs> uh, no, it's, that phrase has given me a lot of confidence and a lot of strength. Uh, living out in LA, especially. Yeah. So, um, it's something my uncle told me actually years ago. Yeah, I, it's it, it, it's a helpful thing for me to think about all the times where I've uh, my you know all the things terrible things I've thought have happened in my life. And seeing kind of what's come from that, and like, yeah. and, and like, I could, I could always look back and see the reason why it happened, mm. you know, and be like, that happened, uh, and now, now it's led to this. So mm. it's like I, you could, I could kind of look back and, uh, you know, see the beauty and some of the really uh, difficult challenges I've dealt with in my life. You know, that's amazing that you have that you have that awareness. That's very lucky. Well, yeah, I lose it right away. Someone, something bad happens. I'm like, ah, it's all over. (laughs) 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 Done. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, or have you dealt with any kind of anxiety because of, you know, acting, work, career? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I get, yeah, I I mean, I'm anxious a lot because it's a tough, it's just a tough gig in terms, like, like, you don't know when your next uh, job is going to be. So it's like, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's an interesting thing because it's like you could be working and uh, you get used to the working lifestyle and then all of a sudden, you know, you're not working. You're like, well, I don't know when I'm going to work again. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And then yeah. so it's all kind of. What do you do to deal with it? Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK if it works. I say, it works. You know, for anxiety, like because I, I do. I, I have. I struggle with like anxiety and stuff. I, I box. I, I don't I don't real box. I don't nobody hits me. I, I yeah. work like the mitts and stuff. Of like course, that. Too, you you you, act, you box as an actor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you act actor boxing. You know, I like hit the punching bag and hit like mitts and stuff like that. I don't so that 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 helps with like uh, anxiety and stuff like that. Um, what about you? Same thing, man. Extreme physical exercise. Yeah. When I'm running up the mountain and I'm, I feel like my heart's gonna stop. There's very little I have to worry about other than what's in front of me. And then when I'm up top and I'm praying and meditating, everything becomes clearer. You, med- you meditate? Yeah. How, how long? Well, it just depends on the day. It's difficult, though. Hard, I, yeah. yeah. I find certain things get me more focused in on meditating. For instance, as soon as I'm done with running all the way to the top, I'm usually out of – I'm I'm breathing hard. Yeah. So when I sit down, there's this wonderful, like – 
vibration, I guess you could say, and I'm just focused on breathing, and that's all I care about for like a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. That helps settle me. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, med meditating, that's what my therapist recommends doing that, but mm. it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. I would recommend trying after you've done an insane cardio sprint. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Because you can't think about anything else yeah, other than breathing. Because you're supposed to be thinking about just breathing, right? It's like, Certain like, meditations, yeah. It's like um, uh, what, mindful awareness. Yeah. Is that, is, is that what you do? No, no, but uh, I thought you were just saying be you know, have mindful awareness. Uh, yeah, maybe there's a different name for it. Yeah. So there's there's a couple of things I think may, that, that could help. I, I'm just partaking what works for me. That kind of meditating helps because when you go, man, that's awesome. I just focused on breathing for 30 breaths. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll count to like 50. Maybe I'll stop counting and just kind of focus on breath and let time come and go as it wants and I'll just keep focusing on breath. And then from a monk on a YouTube video, I got this uh, tip that even if your brain does go somewhere else, don't go, come back. Yeah. That, it's okay that it went there, but come back to the breath. Don't get upset with yourself for letting it go there because that's what the... I smack myself. Okay, that's... That's how I meditate. Yeah. Once, <laughs> it, once I had some, yeah. give a good smack and then I'm back into it. Yeah, you're like the the monk on the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> you know, you're just like... <laughs> Self, yourself. self flagellate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that helps... Um, yeah, yeah. It's well. It's just interesting how like um, uh, it's you know how many your thoughts just it's like uh, I, because I took I tried to, I took half of a meditation class, two of the four classes. I, um, That's great. You know, <laughs> well, the one thing I got from it, uh, I think they said something like your your thoughts just think of them as like you're in a train station. It's like you just. They're just trains going by. Exactly. You know, and you just get on one and poof, all of a sudden you're on this new thing. It's just like you just want to maybe stay in the train station, be aware that these thoughts are just, you know, they're just thoughts. That's a, you know. Here's a trippy thing to think about. You are the watch, uh, watch the watcher of your thoughts. Yeah. Which yeah. then you're like, oh, whoa, I'm now I'm on a different level of like, I'm like taking a step back away from myself, watching myself think about the, it's tr kind of trippy. Yeah. Yeah. Point. yeah. 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 I like that. Like a, like a meta attention deal. Yeah. There was, there was one, one other thing. Oh, moving meditation, I think would definitely be helpful too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you just take a walk. You can do like walking or fishing and you're doing some kind of like repetitious activity. Yeah. Where yeah, you kind of let those thoughts come and go. You don't have to be sitting down like um kind of thing. Yeah, I know. I think there's a lot of things that people do that like aren't they aren't really aware that they're like meditating. And like I think when when you fish, you're kind of really just focused on. It's like a really relaxing thing. Yeah. You just focus. You're not you're not worrying about much. You're just kind of focusing on like where the where the bait is. Yeah. And, and slow. You know, it's just very like con focused on one yeah. simple task. You know. Yeah, yeah. I really dig that. Um, we're going to take just a quick break and we'll come back and we'll, we'll wrap everything up. Man. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back. This has been a very fun talk, Graham. You know that? L yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Yeah. Cause I don't know this. I don't know much about you. I just, you know, met you a handful of times, like I said before. And so this is wonderful insight on, in, a little bit into the world of Graham. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. It's been, yeah. This is the first time we've sat down. Uh, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I mean, if you, if you're serious, I'm definitely down whenever, obviously now, cause I'm not working on anything. Um, I'd love to go fishing. Yeah. At some point. I'm, I'm and here, can... I'm here for another two weeks. And, uh, so oh, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. You got another job coming up? Uh, yep. And, uh, I think June 1st, I'll be Great. in New York for five months. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats, man. Are you allowed to talk about it or not? Yeah, yet? yeah. It's a Ray Donovan, um, oh. season seven, um, com comes out. Dude, hell but, yeah, dude. But I would, act, I would love to go fishing before that. Dude. Like, I've, I haven't been in a, in a minute. Oh, then let's do it. I'd, right, I'd love okay. to go before you go because I need to, I'd, I'd like to go. Well, this yeah. is going to be, we got, this, we can't, it can't be an LA plan. We'll, we'll, we'll get a date. We'll get it. We'll get. We'll get it going. We'll sir. get it going. <laughs> sir, I feel like the LA play. It's like, yeah, we got to definitely do that get, soon. Sir, soon. I don't. Do that. No, uh, no. We're we're actually gonna probably pick a date before we, you leave here. All right, right, I'm right. not serious. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I love that. I love that. Um, uh, 
I always love to ask uh, now my guests, what is the, your best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Something that's really helped you through the toughest of times. Oh, man. Oh, man. man. Let, me, let me think on this. Yeah. Well. I've gotten so much uh, good advice uh, from, from smart people. Yeah. Or it's some a, advice you want to give to someone else. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, ah. Uh, I know it's a, it's a, it's. Uh, I'll let you think about it. Um, I'll share some of mine. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. While yeah. while this is happening, the idea, and this is kind of a um, a callback to what you you were saying earlier, that God gives you uh, doesn't give you more than you can handle. If you are having trouble believing God, or if you don't believe in God, or you believe in something else, think of it as the universe. You know, not giving you more than you can handle. And if you really believe that. For me, it's just, it's a huge confidence booster because then no matter what negative situation comes about, I can gain some good from it. Yeah, yeah. That will help me forward in life. And uh, some pretty bad stuff has happened to me in the past. But always keeping that in mind has at the very least, I mean, I've, I've been able to crawl through it and eventually yeah. stand up, walk, and then run away. You know what yeah. I mean? So... That's probably one of the best pieces of advice I've ever gotten. And also there's a tenant in Taekwondo, which I used to do a long time ago. And one of the tenets is the conviction of ultimate victory. And I just love that phrase. Having, try, you know, really having that conviction to help you get through any obstacle or goal that you want. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, that, that is great. That's great advice. Yeah. Also being honest always helps. Yeah, yeah, that 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 too. With yourself too. Don't lie to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me think. I'm trying. Uh, good advice. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the best piece. You know what I mean? It could be something recent or anything like that. Well, if you're dropping into Fortnite, what you want to do is you want to find a <laughs> low population area with a high amount of chess. That way, you're getting. No, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. To I, 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 I was like, it. okay. <laughs> That's actually um, different, that, but I like that, it. It's advice, kind of symbolic. Advice about, I, don't, I mean, it's it's difficult for me to uh, give life advice because I feel like I um, have so much to figure out about it. But uh, what, well, about, what about a subject? What about a subject? Well, I'll tell you what. Even though, like, you might feel like you're in the shit, I always feel like life is an ultra marathon. Yeah, sure. And it never stops. You're literally running on this path. Sometimes... You're going through these wonderful green fields. Sometimes you're wading through mud. Sometimes you're on the hilltop of a mountain. Sometimes you're in like a, a canyon, right? And you'll come across other runners. Sometimes you'll see on other runners lower on on the path. And I always think it's important to like give those runners a heads up. Like, hey, just so you know, yeah, yeah, be careful on that turn. There's some rocks and some snakes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it doesn't matter where you're at in life. I always love to hear people's advice about stuff and on life or even acting maybe acting you know for people who when whenever they're feeling anxious what do you recommend uh for actors yeah uh, what's the best advice i got um i think the best advice i've got for for actors um was uh just trusting simplicity i think i think a lot of times it's like um i've been watching a lot of movies lately with like really great like with like uh christian bale Sam Rockwell, I watched like Mickey Rourke's movie last night, The Wrestler. Oh, cool! And it's like these really powerful performances. And uh, if, if you if you if it's all seems like it's really distilled down into like um, a simplicity, and people are really trusting their simplicity. So it's like I, I um, was really fortunate the past two years to be on set with um, Alan Arkin a couple times. Alan oh, Arkin. wow! He's you know if you watch his stuff, he could get he could get this laugh from doing nothing and like i remember somebody asked him like hey alan what's like what's the best advice you could give uh for actors he goes do nothing do nothing nothing don't do do nothing <laughs> and, and i tried to use that into my thing um because i i think i think that's a good thing for actors um because it's like if you, i think if you're simple the whole time or something like that or like when you pick and choose the scenes that you do want to um lose your shit or like you know go go yeah. crazy it's a little bit more powerful because i think it's like somebody that never curses and then all of a sudden they curse you're like oh they're mad you yeah. know so it's like 
right now that's that's kind of what I've been trying to instill in my acting. I love it's that. A little bit more of a simple um, approach to it. You know. Yeah, I love that, man. You have to give uh, allow the audience to kind of read into it a little bit. Trust that they will. Yeah, yeah. Don't you don't have to paint the picture for them too much. You, you no. know, they're smart. You know, yeah. You know. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's a good reminder, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, have to, I constantly have to remind myself. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um, I kind of want to. There's a part of me that always wants to go like, uh, in Al Pacino and The Devil's Advocate. You know, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, know? like you can't do that. We say for every audition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, but then there's the opposite side of the corner. There's those actors that just are just like you know. Like go off all the time that are so yeah. entertaining to watch too. That's like uh, yeah, it's a tr- it's, tr- it's a tricky thing, but it is. Graham, thanks, brother, so much Thank for coming you so on much the show. For man. Having me. It was so fun. Thank yeah. you for the tea. I love this. I'm gonna start buying this. Yeah, Yerba, Yerba Mate. Love it. Herba Mate. Herba. Yeah. <laughs> Yerba I, I had to correct you. I'm sorry. Uh, Yerba Mate. Nice. Yerba Mate. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, guys. Roll the music. Yeah, let's roll the music. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Thank you, Adobe Radio, Nice Guy Digital. Thank you, Michael, Peyton, Steph. Thank you, Graham. If people want to find you on Instagram and Twitter, where are you at? Uh, hey, Graham Bam, thank you, ma'am. It's my Instagram. <laughs> I'm not really on Twitter anymore. Okay. But, uh, you got blocked but, uh, or yeah. reported? But it's, uh, it's Graham Rogers on Venmo as well. Uh, <laughs> Dude! <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you to our listeners. Thank you, Matt Reeves, for your question today. That's his name, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's always my biggest fear. I just call somebody by the completely wrong name. <laughs> thank you, Matt Reeves, for your fun question. Thank you to all our new supporters, our new followers. We love you guys so much. Remember to subscribe on YouTube and iTunes. And if you're an Android user, we're on Spotify, baby. So no excuse not to tune into the show. Tune in every week. Send us your questions. Either message the podcast account, Michael, or me. And we'll answer you back. Because that's what we do here. Uh, always remember to listen, think, and then talk.